All right, this is part two of the uh, Starbucks modeling uh, of a Starbucks cup. And just to remind you that uh, if you're going to be using any logo for this exercise, it doesn't have to be Starbucks, we just keep using Starbucks. Um, make sure you um, have or you created something with a transparent background, okay? So this is a PNG um, file. You can also use TIFF. Um, what else can do 32 bit? Uh, Open EXR, Targa. Um, all right, so it has a transparent background. So when we put it in here, we can change the color of the cup and not affect what's uh, behind the um, the uh, logo in its square, um, in a way, container. Okay, this one is a JPEG, no transparent background. So it will still work if we slap it in here and we gave it a white texture and we match that texture but what if we want to change the color of the cup then this white area would remain you're going to have to select it and match it so you want to get something like a transparent background all right so let's get started i'm going to delete that and this one now let's go to our shading okay i'm going to go to the front here all right um we're going to uh look at our uv edit sorry Okay, we we'll take a look at our UV edit on this one and let me press A to select everything. And it's still not bad. As you can see right here, it became it's originally a cylinder. So whatever we position right here, uh, we'll have uh, that image correctly. All I have to do is select all my uh, points at the bottom right there. And then I'm going to move it down so that it uses the entire screen once we apply that then everything is good all right so we could definitely do that all right and um but uh we have to position it in a position right here where um the uh the image is um we're going to have to move basically this island right here so i'm going to go island selection okay that one right there that's point edge uh face selection okay and UV and then island everything that's kind of it's separated from that's when I'm so I can just move it around later on okay so we'll go back to that one let's go back to our shading um, uh, let's take care of this one first okay let me add a shader this one is supposed to be plastic and it's white a little off-white right here I think that would work maybe lower that a bit and how shiny is this supposed to be or reflective uh, roughness it's not too shiny right it's kind of dull plastic so maybe that one we won't know until we actually light it and then find out what's happening all right so we'll leave it like that and this one now uh all right good awesome with that one we're done with that one uh let's give this one the uh, plastic lid okay so that when we populate stuff we can always you know change it and when we can reuse it on other things okay well this one right here a little bit more complex um we're gonna click new principle bsdf right and uh, let's say this is paper so we can give it like a a noise texture kind of like a bump all right so that it doesn't look like it's flat and whatnot we know for sure it's not super shiny so it has a dull look right there okay so uh let's add our uh texture to this okay so uh, I put mine in picture and then there's the Starbucks right there. Okay, drag it in here. All right, so this one has an alpha channel. So to kind of show you how that works uh, without positioning or worrying about the back factoring in, I'm gonna put color on the base color. Okay, and there it is. All right, so if I go to um, our UV editing right here, it's right there so if I basically just scale this uh, oh, let me see what it looks like here okay it just goes on both sides okay if I just kind of scale this all right and then position it where I want to then I'm gonna give it the correct height by scaling it then I can kind of kind of guess where that's supposed to be right okay so something like that but we're not guaranteed that it's perfect circle so on and so forth so let me click undo on that one put it back there so let's do a uh, 
a another unwrap uh, well a new unwrap because it was still using the cylinder original unwrap from blender okay so instead of that we're gonna go make sure we're in the front orthographic right here okay I'm gonna and we're number one so I'm, I'm gonna press U to unwrap uh, let me turn on screencast press N and then screencast so you can see what I'm clicking there we go okay I'm gonna press U and then I'm gonna do projection from view basically project it how I'm looking at it right now and there you have it it's the correct aspect all I have to do here is scale this so that it goes to where I want it okay so if you want a multi uh, logo in um, in your cup doesn't look too good right here that's what you're gonna do all right but we can go back to shading right here and we could tell blender hey do not repeat okay just do clip and you'll get one you also get one in the back but it's backwards all right so it's backwards all right so we got to have to fix that one okay so to fix that uh, we're going to have to go to uv mapping all right so you go uv editing okay so this is the front let's hide the lid for now okay let's go to the top all right right there okay so now if i go uh, point mode okay since i'm on the top i'm going to select half all right I'll go back to face mode here so i get to see that selection all right you don't see it here because it's hiding behind it so i'm going to click on sync all right uv sync selection because if i press g right here you could see oh i missed this part i'm sorry uh uh for some reason that didn't get selected uh because i wasn't on that one all right so that was that's my fault <laughs> practice what you preach x-ray and whatnot there you go all right so before uv selection right there uh you know we could still see it okay so this is the back so all we have to do is rotate it since you're you're working when you're working in uv editing this is all 2d there's no 3d so we can't rotate this let's say hey rotate along the um, z-axis and then show me the back from standing position right so all the rotation here would be just basically that direction so instead of rotating we want to scale it along the x and then basically plif it okay you plif it like this you break the threshold and you go to the other way but that would be guessing if you're moving it like that so there's a keyboard shortcut you could use of course scale and we want the x-axis and we want minus one so it goes the other way okay so when you look at it starbucks here and starbucks right there it's no longer flip and we are done with that part okay so cool now we go here we still get the black um, background which is fine if that's what you plan to do right um, I'm seeing some um, those right there uh, that would be increasing my normal to 60 degrees all right and doing some last-minute modeling here <laughs> let's take a look at this one right here we're gonna mark this sharp so that all right they see uh, like a cut right there okay so now uh, we want to make sure that this one is transparent so all we have to do now the alpha right here goes to the alpha over here okay and that should give us a transparent background uh, on the object and uh, but we want color all right so we're not going to be doing that one uh, actually yeah click on alpha and then we need to go to our uh, node right here and then all the way here on the blend mode you got to go alpha clip there we go oh uh, we made a we forgot to re uh, uh what do you call this uh the uv edit on this one i missed that part somehow it got selected so let's just select this real quick just do a real quick fix right here that one click the plus control plus until we get all the parts that are getting uh 
all right so it's right there so all we have to do is select all of that and then hey uh let's get out okay don't include that one all right go bang back to shading so once you plug in the alpha all right and then you need to go down here you're not going to see the option right here go down to your node uh, shading uh, tab right here blend mode all right back face culling uh if you don't want it going transparent going that way if you want like a glass or whatever uh we're, you know we're not gonna we're not gonna need that for now we're gonna put a color on this one remember all right so now how are we going to get the color in there uh we need to add a uh, a mix rgv here all right so let's uh go shift a and let's go to our uh, color mix rgb all right and i'm not going to if you drop it in here it automatically connects there you go okay it's not what we want because it's uh we're gonna have to uh switch this to color two all right so whatever color that one has that will be what it'll mix so instead of plugging alpha right here we're going to put it on factor all right there we go okay so we just added a mix rgb the color plugs the color too whatever color one is guess what that's the color of the cup so you can have now copies of this and when you change the color one you get a different cup all right a different color cup sorry and there you have it all right so and then the alpha used to be down here remember that okay now it's uh it's on factor just leave it on mix and that should do it okay so what else can we do we can add um like a bump on this one like a texture so that it looks like it's paper okay and that's easily done here so we're going to do shift a or go add all right and we're going to go vector and bump we're going to have that bump right there and then with this needs to go to normal won't do anything until we have a until we have a, a, a bump all right we're not going to use any texture we're going to use a uh, we're going to use a uh, procedural so i'm going to go uh, texture and then let's go use uh, let's just use noise okay there's uh, you can use uh, musgrave on this one and you can use voronoi um white noise i haven't used white noise so let's see so the color goes to the height never mind uh i've never used that so i don't know <laughs> i was hoping it'll, it'll be like the white noise that you see on television then you, you know anyway let's go get a noise one at least this one i know works put it on height and then you're going to see this horrible bumpiness on that one so it looks like those packing uh, cardboard or uh what do you call them egg uh egg crate all right uh something to do with this probably with a roughness also all right because you want to make it kind of shiny so all you have to do here is increase the scale okay so we want just tiny all right here we go super tiny okay the strength lower the strength you don't want too much you just want that kind of like paper uh, texture right there okay then the detail gonna increase the detail a bit uh, probably increase the scale let's all right okay there we go and it's apply on the texture also on the print so that would work so i doubt uh, inverting this would because uh, it's procedural only you'll see the same thing so i'm going to tone this down and if you, this is going too uh too much when you drag it here's a little trick hold down shift and it will slow it down where you can control it so it doesn't jump so without holding down shift you go especially when your computer is struggling with this it just you can't see those subtle changes it's too much of a jump hold down shift when you drag this with your mouse then it goes to one increment all right right there should be 
think is it not there's uh, can you see it I'm gonna go 0 0.06 right there all right so at least we know when we have a close-up you can see the color right there okay and there you have it uh, this is our uh, uh, Starbucks cup part two uh, shading and then part three would be rendering it and using cameras and whatnot okay